हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रसायन एकेडमी वंस अगेन गाइस सो यस वी आर ऑन टू सिक्सटी फोर्थ नेम रिएक्शन टुडे एंड दिस नेम रिएक्शन इज एक्चुअली अ लिटिल बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वन बट दैट इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू आई एम ट्राइंग टू सिंपलीफाई दिस नेम रिएक्शन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो द नेम रिएक्शन इज हेंस डाईहाइड्रोपिरीडीन सिंथेसिस सो बेसिकली दिस इन्वॉल्व द सिंथेसिस ऑफ अ हेटेरोसाइक्लिक compound that is your 1,4 dihydropyridine. Okay, so why it is called dihydropyridine? Because there is some R group over here and on this position one hydrogen. On the one and the fourth position you are having hydrogens. This is not a complete pyridine molecule. You have to oxidize it by the removal of protons. Then only it will be into your complete pyridine. All right. So the dihydropyridine synthesis proposed by Hens, right, only prepares this kind of pyridine okay so let's see what is this reaction it's a very important reaction of the heterocyclic chemistry and it's also uh, not very difficult but once you get the hang of it it will be very easy all right so if i just write the whole reaction in front of you you are just going to close down this video because uh, it's a big reaction okay so i'll try to decode it first of all so let's first start with what is the reaction it is 1,4 dihydropyridine synthesis from the condensation of aldehyde, beta keto ester, and ammonia. So just think about this. You are having four molecules. What are those four molecules? You are having some aldehyde. All right. Then you are having a beta keto ester. What is that? Beta keto ester is like this. C double bond O O E T. So this is your ester part, alpha and beta. on the beta carbon you have a carbonyl like this and ammonia but i said you are having four molecules you are having two molecules of the beta keto ester one molecule of aldehyde another molecule of ammonia these are the four molecules and from these four molecules you are going to synthesize 1,4 dihydropyridine like this the r group comes over here yes it is specific okay so r group comes over here the ester group are going to come over here and these are your let's say i have an r dash over here okay over here so these are your r dash and nitrogen has one hydrogen right so this is your 1,4 dihydropyridine synthesis from aldehyde two molecules of beta keto ester one molecule of ammonia four molecules just remember it like this four molecules giving you one molecule okay how are you going to do the mechanism super super important let's try to simplify okay so first thing what we are going to do is let's take one beta keto ester molecule and the aldehyde molecule and do one reaction so what we can do is uh, let's say you are having this is your beta keto ester molecule the same molecule one of it we are taking over here CO2 ET, all right. And in the presence of ammonia, which is basic, what you can do is you can just directly make a enolate. Yes or no? You can just directly make a enolate from over here. All right. Now this enolate is going to combine with the aldehyde. And what is the reaction? It's a simple aldol reaction, isn't it? It is. a simple aldol reaction okay so the molecule which results is going to look like this all right co2 et so this is what you have till now all right this is what you have till now okay so if you are writing if you are noting it down somewhere you can note this down and then we are going to see what happens with it there is still one ammonia molecule ammonia is there Yes so what is the ammonia going to do it is going to take away a proton from here and through the e1cb mechanism right you know what is e1cb the loss of this proton will take place first and then the loss of the oh group all right okay so nothing over here you are going to generate this kind of a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl system all right so the first reaction is using the beta keto ester molecule and using the aldehyde molecule you are doing the aldol reaction 
you are doing aldol condensation all right and generating the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl okay now what about the second step you still have one molecule of ammonia and one molecule of beta keto ester remaining so let's say we have one molecule of beta keto ester and the ammonia molecule remaining what are we going to do guys this is very very simple the ammonia molecule is going to attack over the carbonyl yes and the carbonyl is going to take away a proton from where does it take away the proton guys yes you are not adding an acid separately but since there are a lot of protonated ammonia molecules which have actually helped which have actually helped in the removal of this oh group okay so there will be protonated ammonia molecules this proton goes to the solvent ammonia right so this protonated ammonia is going to give this proton to the oxygen and this is the oh that becomes right and this is positive charge on ammonia so i'm directly writing minus h plus over here okay that gives you minus h plus and plus h plus all right so that you can directly write a proton over here the oh becomes oh2 positive r is there nh3 becomes nh2 co2 et what will it result into guys simply talking about the overall reaction whenever a carbonyl reacts with ammonia you are going to lead to an amine formation simply focus on what is the result if you get lost in the mechanism it's going to be really difficult all right simply focus on what you're getting a carbonyl reacts with amine to give you the imine this is your imine and since this <clears throat> since this imine has also got this acidic proton over here one more ammonia molecule can take away this proton and give you this type of an enamine system all right this is your enamine which you have got enamine okay enamine like this so first step you are doing the aldol condensation and generating the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl all right let me just uh, erase this part there is nothing over here nothing over here all right yes this is your alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl this is one unit of the reaction the other unit is the enamine all right now both of them are going to react let's react them so yes what is the next step let's say you have one unit enamine and the other unit is your alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl over here so what is the reaction now it's a very simple reaction you have generated the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl let's write it over here co2et r dash double bond o and you have generated this enamine nh2 co2et and r dash now this step is known as the michael addition it is known as the michael addition why because now this nitrogen uses the electron density to cause a reaction like this okay so michael addition is one for addition all right and guys uh, i hope that you can do the mechanism by yourself because this is nothing huge you just have to stick to writing the mechanism properly okay just do the steps by yourself you will know so let's say this is your oh since it becomes o minus let's say it will become oh over here and this carbon has one double bond nh2 group like this with a positive charge okay so what happens next one proton is going to fall off from here this is going to become your free nh2 group and also this side this side i'm doing the uh, both the both the steps together that one hydrogen falls off you get a double bond and this side you get a tautomerism so your molecule is actually going to look like this it becomes a carbonyl now co2et 
this is your R group and this side you've got a free NH2 group okay all right R dash once again now this amine once again you got the same reaction the free amine reacting with the carbonyl to give you to give you the imine system so I am directly writing this guys you can see the steps which are given over here the, they are the same steps that you require so let's say I'm having this imine system over here all right nitrogen having a positive charge R group CO2 ET on their places okay what next next is you have another acidic proton over here this proton is going to fall off and you are going to have the 1,4 dihydropyridine as your product and where does the proton fall off this is a common question by the students ma'am how are you making the proton fall off it's going to be taken by the ammonia which is there in the solvent okay so you don't need to worry about writing each and every step this is your product that you're getting so once again revising it in very short see guys try to look at this reaction in this way hence dihydropyridine synthesis is made of four components one aldehyde two molecules of beta keto ester one molecule of ammonia all right yes four molecules giving you this product which is your one four dihydropyridine all right so in the mechanism the first step will be aldol condensation you are taking one molecule of beta keto ester right and in the presence of ammonia you are generating this enolate okay the enolate attacking over the aldehyde giving you the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl molecule like this now in the next step the next unit of the reaction is the amine the ammonia molecule attacking over another molecule of beta keto ester to finally give you the enamine so the overall reaction is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl reacting with enamine this is going to cause a conjugate addition which we call the Michael addition Michael addition ke baad mein, you are just going to get one carbonyl and NH2 group like this what happens is removal of this proton free NH2 and this side tautomerism you get the carbonyl back again okay so ring closure you get your 1,4 dihydropyridine this is the overall reaction also you have got a previous year question to solve from gate 2018 this is an MCQ question you see the major product formed in the following reaction is now you see that there is beta keto ester over here this is your methyl molecule uh, methyl group over here two equivalents of the beta keto ester one of your aldehyde one molecule of ammonia absolutely one for dihydropyridine synthesis now you don't want to get confused in between where the co2 et group is going to be right so that is why do this mechanism properly you will know also one more thing guys this reaction does not give you proper pyridine okay it only gives you 1,4 dihydropyridine yes it gives you 1,4 dihydropyridine yes and uh, the position of CO2 ET is clear to you when you are doing the mechanism you have to draw these molecules in this way always write the R group over here this is your CO2 ET on this side one carbonyl one R dash okay plus All right, let's say you're writing the enamine. In this way, this is your R dash, which was uh, coming from the ester. All right, so this is what you should have. You should draw the molecule like this. So for example, this is what we want to draw. Okay, the products of these reaction. So the beta keto carbonyl, uh, beta keto ester molecule as well as aldehyde reaction to give you this part of the this unit of this reaction there will be a CH3 over here if you want to do the reaction you you can do this by yourself you are going to get this on the aldol reaction product so, and next you are going to get uh, enamine or let's say uh, imine like this first you will get the imine this is your CO2 ET and this side you are going to have the CH3 all right 
lose one proton from here you are going to get the enamine system and you can combine both of these as it is and you can uh, say that your answer is option number D why because the ester groups are going to be over here and the nitrogens will have the methyls will be close to nitrogen this is absolutely wrong so when you know the mechanism then you can write the correct product otherwise don't just keep on guessing this is a super important mechanism and a little bit complicated but try to solve it in this way okay now iit jam 2021 this is an mcq msq question multiple select question so hence pyridine synthesis involves several steps some of those are now you know the mechanism so you can directly say it has aldol reaction between the beta keto ester and your carb uh, and your aldehyde and then michael addition it in between the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl molecule plus your enamine okay so two questions i have taken more questions uh, we are going to do once we do all these name reactions right i hope that you are liking this re name reaction series and also if you are please make notes these are very important all right and you are going to see more videos like these and if you are liking uh, everything on the channel the content and the interaction and definitely guys if you are having any more suggestions comment me up chhod dijiye wo suggestions I'll, I'll try to take those suggestions also so yes if you already haven't su subscribed please do okay and i'm going to see you in next video bye everyone